Hey everyone, Jamie here from TechnicalCafe.com, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about parameters and arguments in Java, and how we can go about using them to pass data into methods when they're called. Uh, this is also called passing them in at runtime. So what we have here is a bankaccount.java class, similar to what we had in the last class. where We have a string um, variable called account holder, set equal to my name here. And then we have a double variable called balance, which is set equal to 250, um, which represents $250 stored in a bank account. Coming over here, we have the main.java class, which just has the uh, main method in it. And within the main method here, we've just instantiated an object of the aforementioned bank account class. Uh, so there's nothing, we haven't done anything in here really except instantiate that object. And in here, we haven't done anything other than declare these uh, and define these variables. Let's go ahead and just make a quick method that uh, creates a welcome message and prints the user's name to the screen. Um, we're not going to be using parameters for this method, so we'll just say string uh, welcome msg and uh, we're going to leave the parameter list blank and come down to a uh, body here and we're just going to return uh, a string we'll say welcome and then we'll concatenate on the account holder variable up here so account holder and this might be useful for when the user logs into their account or something like that uh, and we'll come over to the main.java class and simply print that out so system.out.println and we'll just say my account dot welcome msg and let's come over here and uh, terminate that line there. And we'll come over here and compile and run and we'll see what comes down in the console. So we have welcome Jamie and that is because we have in our bank account, uh, our bank account .java class, um, the method that returns the string welcome and then the user, uh, the account holder's name here. Uh, so let's say for example we don't know the account holder's name where we're going to put the account holder's name in um, when the method is run instead of having it predefined uh, here. What we can do is use some parameters to do that. So let's go ahead and delete this return statement here in this method. And let's go ahead and add a um, parameter to this list. And adding a parameter is similar to defining uh, a variable. So let's go ahead and say string, because we want the user's name to be put in here. And uh, user name is most likely going to be a string. And we'll just call it name. So now we have a parameter here called string. Um, it's called name, and it's of type string. And well, let's go ahead and just say return um, welcome, just like last time. And we'll concatenate on this here, this um, parameter name. And when we use when we're using a parameter, one thing you have to think about is that this string here uh, called name is only accessible within the body of this welcome message method. Uh, if we tried to use it outside the method, it wouldn't work. Uh, and that's just because the scope of this parameter is only within the method itself. So. Uh, let's go ahead and jump over here to the main.java class and now that we have a parameter what we have to do uh, to tell the method that we want to put something into it is put it in um, within the parameter uh, brackets or uh, parentheses over here so uh, let's put in a name let's say Brian for example and because we're using a string we have to put the quotation marks on either side of it uh, and let's go ahead and compile and run this and see what happens and let's that it works welcome Brian uh, so we basically what we did was we passed in the string Brian to our method over here which took in a string uh, which we called name and then we just put the name here uh, in our return statement. Let's say we want to pass a variable into a method now. So what we can do is go ahead and say uh, string and we'll call it username and we'll set that equal to uh, let's say John. So let's go over here and pass this variable username into our method here and let's go ahead and compile and run this and see what happens. And notice that we have welcome John because when we passed in this username variable to our method, uh, which was accepting a type uh, a parameter of type string, uh, John was stored within this name parameter here, and then we just concatenated that onto our welcome message. So this is useful for if you're taking in user data or maybe you're reading something from a file and you're not entirely sure what the um, the variable or parameter could be. Uh, you just pass it right in, and the the method just takes care of the rest. And this also works with numbers if you wanted to update the balance. Uh, let's go ahead and make another method. We'll say double, and we'll just say deposit. And we will take a parameter. We'll say uh, double, and we'll call it AMT for amount. And we'll create a method body where we just simply update the balance. So balance plus equals, and we'll just say amount. And since this, this method was written in this class, this balance here uh, refers to this balance up here. Uh, and amount is just what we're putting in for the parameter. And what we'll do is we'll return uh, the new balance. So balance. Oops, spelled that wrong. Let's come over here to our main.java class and let's create a, uh, another print line statement. So system out print line. And we'll say my account dot deposit. 
And what we have to do here is um, put in the amount. So Eclipse automatically puts in the parameter name here and what type it is. Uh, so we'll just say, uh, let's say $100. And we'll terminate this line and see what it prints out. And you just notice that now we have our welcome John here and our $350 uh, because we updated our parameter. Uh, we also updated our balance with the parameter uh, called amount. And so this is useful, again, for if you're maybe taking in user information or if you're reading something from a file or getting something from somewhere else in the program that you're not entirely sure what it is. Uh, parameters are a great way to go about doing something like this. So feel free to play around with this. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, and thank you for watching.